Mr. Speaker, today Congress is faced with one of the greatest economic challenges of our time, high unemployment rates, a challenge that we must be determined to meet. While current unemployment numbers are still too high, the continued decline of job losses is a promising sign of economic recovery that we must build on. We have already taken bold steps to lift our nation out of recession. Since January, we have stabilized the financial system, revived lending to small businesses, prevented home foreclosures, cut taxes to the middle class, extended unemployment insurance, and created and saved more than a million jobs. We must now build on this progress for continued job growth. Yesterday, the President outlined a frame of action to produce the greatest number of jobs while generating the greatest value for our economy. His top priority included helping small businesses grow and hire new staff, additional investment in our roads, bridges, and infrastructure to create shovel-ready jobs, and increased investment in clean energy to spawn more green jobs. In order to face our unemployment crisis head-on, Congress must follow the President's lead by passing a comprehensive jobs recovery package. It goes back his time. For what purpose, gentleman from Colorado, rise. Commissioner, address the House for one minute, provide an extent.